hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to learn about shannon coding so let's start so shannon coding is a method of constructing or finding a uniquely decodable code okay means shannon coding is used for encoding the source letters so let's move ahead so here are the list of formulas i'll be using to solve the problem so you can make a note of it or just take the screenshot so here i have li which is the length which equals ceiling function negative log pi okay this is negative log to the base 2 okay so next cp which is the cumulative probability which equals pi minus 1 plus cpi minus 1 so this is this p is probability and cpi minus 1 is the cumulative probability previous cumulative probability okay so next l average which is summation i equals to 1 to n pi into li probability into length Next we have entropy h of s summation i equals to 1 to n negative pi log to the base 2 pi and efficiency h of s divided by l average into 100. So let's move ahead. So here I, I have an example. Consider the source s equals a b c d e with probabilities. 0 0.35, 0 0.17, 0 0.17, 0 0.16, and 0 0.15. So, construct one table with six columns one for xi, that is source letters, pi, the, the probabilities, li, length, cp, cumulative probability, cp to the base 2, cp in decimal, and the code word. So, First step is order these probabilities in decreasing order. So okay, so here they are already sorted in decreasing order, so you can write them as it is. So 0.35 comes first, then 0 0.17, 0 0.17, 0 0.16, and 0 0.15. Remember, if there are two probabilities which are equal, then take the preference from left to right okay so the first one from the left comes first and then the second one okay so now we have the decreasing order after that write the corresponding source letters okay next how to calculate li i'll tell you so we have the formula li equals negative log to the base 2 pi which is a ceiling function so let's calculate so i have calculated the li values here so let's see l1 equals ceiling function of negative log to the base 2 0.35 first probability so you get a value 1.51 so since it is the ceiling function we round the round this value to the next integer so you get okay so next l2 ceiling of negative log to the base 2 0.17 second probability you get the answer as 2.55 so since it is a ceiling function we round to the next integer so you get 3 so l3 ceiling of negative log 0.17 so the answer is same so l4 ceiling of negative log to the base 2 0.16 which equals 2.64 so round this to the next integer we have 3 so l5 ceiling of negative log to the base 2.15 so you get 2.73 round it to the next integer we get 3 okay in this way you have to calculate the li values so while using ceiling function you have to round this floating point value to the next integer value okay so we have our li values here 
now let's see how to calculate the cp values cumulative probability so here see the first row this zero is always constant okay this 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 slot is always zero by default okay now let's see how to calculate this one so to calculate this one take the previous probability plus the previous cp value so you get to 0 0.35 plus 0 you get 0 0.35 now how do you get this take the previous pi plus previous cp value so 0 0.17 plus 0 0.35 you get 0 0.52 next how to get this take the previous pi 0 0.17 plus previous cp 0 0.52 we get 0 0.69 next how do we get this take previous pi 0 0.16 plus previous cp 0 0.69 we get 0 0.85 okay so in this way you have to calculate the cp values now you have to convert this cp values into binary form so the binary equivalent of 0 is 0 okay so now let's calculate for 0 0.35 so see here how to calculate the binary values take this 0.35 multiply it with 2 you get 0 0.70 now take this fractional part here again multiply it with 2 so you get 1.40 again take this fractional part here multiply it with 2 you get 0 0.80 again take this fractional part down multiply it with 2 you get 1.60 so whatever you values you get to the left of the decimal point for example this 0 this one 0 1 these are your binary values okay so you have to consider from top to bottom so what do you get 0 1 0 1 so the binary equivalent of 0 0.35 is 0 1 0 1 okay so next let's see for 0 0.52 so take this 0 0.52 multiply it with 2 you get 1.04 take the fractional part multiply it with 2 you get 0 0.08 take the fractional part multiply it with 2 you get 0 0.16 take the fractional part here you get multiply it with 2 you get 0 0.32 so whatever digits you get to the left of the decimal point are your decimal values so taking from top to bottom you get 1000 for 0.52 okay in this way you have to calculate the binary values so see here i've got 0 0.35 for sorry 0 0.101 for 0 0.35 and 1000 for 0 0.52 take at least four decimal places okay so after calculating for 0 0.69 you get 1011 and for 0 0.85 we get 1101 okay so now we get we have converted the cp values to binary so how to get the code words let's see so for that see this column li column now see the first row you have a 2 here L length is 2 so what you have to do is take 2 digits after the decimal point as the code word ok whatever the digit here take those many digits after the decimal point as the code word so here there is 2 so take 2 values after the decimal point therefore you get 0 0 here there is 3 so you have to take 3 digits after after the decimal point so you get 0 1 0 so here also there is 3 take 3 values after the decimal point you get 1 0 0 1 0 0 here also 3 take the 3 digits after decimal point so you get 1 0 1 and here also 3 take 3 digits you get 1 1 0 okay so whatever the length those many digits you have to consider as your code word 
okay so these are your generated code words now let's calculate the efficiency so to calculate efficiency first you have to calculate l average and entropy so the formula is for l formula for l average is summation i equals to 1 to n pi into l i now just substitute pi and l i values corresponding l i values so 4.35 you have got l i value as 2 see here 4.35 you have got 2 so 0.35 into 2 0.17 into 3 0.17 into 3 0.16 into 3 0.15 into 3 so you get the answer as 2.65 bits per letter now calculate the entropy what is the formula summation i equals to 1 to n negative pi log to the base 2 pi so substitute this pi values here so first probability negative 0.35 log to the base 2.35 then this negative sign second probability 0.17 log to the base 2.17 then third probability this negative sign 0.17 log to the base 2 0.17 then again negative fourth probability 0.16 log to the base 2 0.16 negative last probability 0.15 log to the base 2 0.15 okay so you get these answers and the final answer is 2.23284 bits per letter okay now let's see the efficiency so the efficiency is h of s divided by l average into 100 so h of s is 2.23284 divided by l average is 2.65 into 100 so you get an efficiency of 84.26 percent okay so this way you have to solve the problem so i hope you understood how to solve this if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comments below so thank you for watching keep learning